Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, I've got the spare tire and the rear tire carrier taken off JJ. Uh, the steel wheel and the 32 inch tire was just too much for the tailgate. Got to making some, I don't know, noises going down the road. My roads in my area are terrible. And as you know, Jeeps are not the best riding vehicles that they are. So anyway, I took it off in JJ's best interest. So if I'm going to run that tire and that steel wheel, I'm going to have to get a bumper with a spare tire carrier swing arm. So maybe some companies watching this video and they want me to do a review for a rear tire carrier on a bumper, and I'd be glad to do that. Y'all can get in touch with me if you're watching. If not, I'll end up buying one on my own probably someday, but I'm going to run JJ like this for a while. We're planning on going to the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion this year and i need to figure out a way to mount me a third brake light in jj since i no longer have my spare tire on i'm not even going to take a spare tire with me on that long journey uh, a lot of people would think that's crazy i've got some plans for another video that i'll show you coming really soon about what i'm going to do to solve that problem of having a flat going on, on the way up there so today we're going to figure out how to solve the problem with the third brake light and i have an idea in mind so let's get to it So the idea I have is dependent on my 3D printer. I have a solution I designed, I think, that will work. Okay, so I unzip my window a little further across. And right here is what I'm going to try to mount my new third brake light to. I want to 3D print me a bracket <clears throat> that snaps over that and hangs down low enough. You can see it in the rear glass. And uh, I will wire it in down here to where my contacts are. And let's see if it'll work. Let me go in here and draw it up on the printer and then I'll be back. Alright guys, here is uh, the part I had 3D printed. It's not the slickest part I've ever done. I got a new 3D printer that prints really fast, so uh, I sacrificed a little bit of the good look for the speed. So, and here is going to be my, my LED brake light. It's got double stick tape. I will run me a couple zip ties around it because in the hot, hot sun on this black plastic, I don't think that that will do the job i think the, the double stick tape will give it up uh this is a asa plastic it was filament and it is very 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 heat resistant so the hot sun should not affect this at all now let's see if it'll fit yep make sure it's in the center it is so that will hang down on my rear glass and this will go right here. I will zip tie this and I will run the wire up here. All right, and the first run of I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go under this right here. I'm gonna go straight up and kind of go over the top of this rail.
All right, I'm gonna zip this window back up. I got my wires run down the side. What I'm gonna do is, this is where it's gonna get a little bit rednecky, but this one coming off that top, go down that post, go under the carpet. Go go down this post, go under the carpet at the where the roll bar comes out of the carpet and then get to my contact terminals down here. Okay, I just got it roughly wired in. I'm just gonna hit the brake so you'll know if it works before I do. So I just reviewed the footage, it did indeed work. Uh, it's behind that tinted glass. It's not as bright as these on the side. These on the side are extremely bright, but it's plenty bright enough, especially at night time. So I'm happy with that result. Now let me go ahead and clean up this wiring and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, I've just got it wired straight in right here. I stripped the wire and I wrapped it around. Top was positive and bottom was negative. And then I come out right here, wire loom. I've uh, got my seat belt straps around my wire loom and just a little short span here where there's nothing holding it which is fine i don't ever let my soft top down i just use it like a safari top and then i run it over the soft top connection here and down to where the third brake light's at so i'll never have a need to let my soft top back because as you know i take my windows out all the way around take these what i call dog legs lay them up over the roll bar that's what I use these straps for right here to hold the dog legs up in place. And so that's it. I want to get all this stuff cleaned up and we'll check it out one more time. All right, Seth. All right, guys. So there's my job finished. I'm very, very pleased. It looks really good. It's brighter than I thought it was. I was looking at the camera a while ago and couldn't really tell. That looks really nice and clean. So anyway there's an idea if y'all needing to run a third brake light without your tire carrier and you don't want to put the plate on the back and i didn't want to relocate my tag over here because i've already got my tag the way i want it right here and i don't know if y'all notice anything strange about my tag if you do leave a leave a comment down below and tell me what you've noticed about it so anyway that's going to wrap up this video guys i thank y'all for watching y'all come back next time we'll see what we got going then